Hello, hello. I've just come to do something really, really quick, but looks really, really cool. Um, I have wanted to do something similar to this for quite a long time. Um, it's actually, um, I did a, a photographic series quite a long time ago. Very, very similar to what I'm going to do now. Um, this is um, a box frame. It's 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres and that's the baseboard, not the actual frame itself. And at the moment in Hobbycraft, these are on offer online at £2 each. They're half price, so I have bought myself a few of these. Um, this is going to be super, super quick. I'm just going to take the back piece out. I'm leaving that piece in there for a minute. So the first thing I'm going to do is just line the frame bit up with the center okay and i've got a piece of rag paper um you can use any paper for this back bit that you like so this is a this is one of my quick creates um, i really should have probably filled my glue up before i started this and uh, it doesn't take a lot of supplies the frame is probably the the biggest thing to get hold of but like I said at the moment they are um, two pounds each I've bought different sizes too because they have a few different sizes on offer at the moment so this is um, I have a few other plans for like Christmas presents and birthday presents because I think these make fabulous gifts I'm just gluing this on it's just actually so there's um, a substrate at the back it's not you're not going to see a lot of this piece okay take my scissors and just trim this okay you can keep those bits Right, just going to ink the edge. So that's done nice and quick. Okay, I've got a piece of canvas, but any fabric, um, you could even use a patterned fabric, it doesn't have to be plain. Um, I'm just going to use these two edges and I'm going to trim about there. And again, about here. Okay, and I'm going to take my awl and just take out a few more of these threads either side doesn't have to be too tatty because it is it's just to kind of make it look a bit like a um, um, a specimen box in a museum and I'm gonna ink the edges of my canvas I mean there are a lot of things that can be done to this to make it more complicated more um, more varied and things like that but I'm um, just this is a qu very quick create just going to trim I've got a little bit of overhang there and this is going to glue into the center um, this is a this is a canvas so the glue doesn't show through quite as much if you're using a thinner fabric then um, you need to be a little bit more careful with your glue Okay, so let's pop that, pop this in here. And this is, it really is quick, really quick. Probably do this in 10 minutes. Okay, so I have a fussy cut butterfly and it hasn't got the antenna, but that's absolutely fine. You could make them with wire. You could add um, cotton if you wanted to. I've got two labels. And they can be any labels because they just look so effective. 
and I've got some sticky pads, some little sticky pads. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is some of these just pull apart really easily and these are again super cheap um you get a massive pack um from hobbycraft and i think they didn't actually have the better brand so these are the one pound ones from hobbycraft online now i'm going to add a bit of glue to this just for security because it's going to be upright And I'm going to stick that to the back of my Fussy Cut Butterfly. I mean, you could use a Tim Holtz Butterfly. You could use a Fussy Cut from a book page. This is um, this is actually my Fussy Cut Butterfly kit that I have amended the colour slightly on this one. Okay. Um, now, I've been waiting for that to dry a little bit more, but I'm just putting my thumb over the body of the butterfly and I'm just going to bend the wings just slightly yeah I did a um I did a photographic series based on um museums and specimens many many years ago for a local gallery and it was um this is kind of this is a craft version of of that particular series that I did so it's quite fun revisiting something I did a long time ago so I'm just gonna leave that there for a second I'm gonna the, the larger label I'm just gonna literally glue at the back I've already inked this really should have filled my glue bottle a bit more I'm using Fabri-Tac because it's nice and secure now what I'm gonna do is just guesstimate where my butterfly is gonna go and then pop my first label into place okay I'm going to take another label I'm not gonna this is just onto paper so I'm not really gonna worry about gluing the back of this one I'm just pu putting that onto the back And now I'm just going to decide where, okay, that's going to go nice and central. So, a little bit of glue. I mean, like I said, you can make these much more fancy. I have got um, a frame coming, which <laughs> has been a long time coming, actually. I ordered it from Amazon. It's um, It's big enough for me to put three butterflies in a row. Now I'm just going to hold this in place for a minute. Okay, I'm going to very carefully take the back of this one off. I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue on the back of that one. What are we? I think we're going to get this done in 10 minutes. 10 minutes is a quick create. And I think I'm going to have that about here. And the good thing about these is you get some really nice shadows. You can see the shadow, the butterflies casting, and you'll actually be able to see the shadow behind this label. Um, what I was going to do is cut down some pins and actually put a pin in here. I would, you know, that's not something I would ever, ever consider doing. Um, but for craft purposes, it's a paper butterfly, so I'd be, I'd be okay with that. Right. So I'm going to take my box frame and just take out the paper. I'm not worried about this. Um, being the wood colour, it kind of blends in fairly well with the ink. Pop this into place, put these down. And there you go. Quick and effective. I think they look really cool. I do like these quite a lot. Um, I'll show you the other ones I have made. I've made the blue one. And this is the same butterfly, but you can see where I've changed the colour of those. That one. And 
this is my favorite the red so there you go quick and effective create um i hope you enjoyed it something a little bit different um you could equally do things like this on the front of your journals um and you don't even have to have necessarily a box frame you could do exactly the same thing in a frame and i'm sure we've all got frames in the house that we don't really use so you could glue this all down flat and do something very very similar um but i just think these box frames at two pounds each at the moment were absolutely fabulous value so there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will see you again soon. Bye.